example, here uh, in the previous plot, we had only black dots, which was um, only a two dimensional plot between the life expectancy and GDP per capita. If we add color by the continent, um, then, um, then we will see that we have added third dimension to our plot. Now we can see the life expectancy by by each of the continents. We can see that Africa life expectancy is somewhere here and Europe's uh, and Oceania life expectancy is way up here. Okay, so now we have three dimensions. Um, let's add one more dimension. Um, if we add population, but this is log 10, uh, population uh, on the log 10 scale, uh, we have five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Uh, so the size of these circles represent um, represent the size of the population in these um, in these areas. So here, uh, that looks like six, and that looks like five. So we can see um, that ggplot also automatically. Uh, puts here another uh, legend for the size. And now we, we still keep the old legend for the continents, for the colors. So we have two legends. Uh, when you make these plots, please make sure that you include these legends, because otherwise we have no clue how to read this graph, right? So for the color, we have continents. For the size, we have this different size. Uh, uh, sizes that correspond to these numbers. Okay, so far so good. Is this too cluttered plot? What do you think? Is it hard to read? Yes, I can agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, size adds additional complexity and clutters the graph. But sometimes we need to make these graphs to show. There is another um, uh, way to separate your data is by faceting. Uh, faceting will create a matrix of plots. And you can uh, have this matrix, for example, for each year. You could do that. Like if you like faceting more and you don't look, uh, you don't like the size, then you can you can use faceting to uh, involve some more to include or incorporate some more dimensions into your plot, right? But here we still uh, want to make a five-dimensional plot, so we use all of them: the color, the size, the faceting. Uh, so this is very easy to make with uh, ggplot in R. Um, if anyone is interested, we have Ecoscope a session on that coming up uh, soon. You should check the Ecoscope uh, web page um, for ggplot workshops. That's a hands-on experience. Um, so this faceting is really nice and easy to read. Do you agree with me? Uh -oh. Do you like faceting or is faceting generating more clutter in the plot? <laughs> 